Manual punching is fun, gives you a lot of control, and it makes you feel like an old school engineer. But let's see how we can get Logic to do some of that work for us. The first order of business will be to show the auto punch button in the control bar. It's right next to the replace option. That'll come in handy. And of course, there is a key command to turn auto punch on and off. When you turn it on, a third area appears right in the middle of the ruler. The red line lets you adjust the punch in and punch out points. You can trim it at either end or grab it in the middle and move the whole bar. When you're doing auto punch, you don't need the special record toggle function for the record button. You can just use the standard record mode. So what you do is put the playhead before the punch in range, then press record. Logical display, not record, until it gets into the punch in area. And then it'll go into record just for that range. Keep in mind that in addition to the auto punch function, I've got replace mode turned on. Are you ready, sir? I am. Standard record R. <laughs> I think we'll do that again. Okay. Uh, so we'll do that again. Uh, but maybe I want to keep that. I don't know. Do I want to keep that? <laughs> uh, uh, we've hit that point of session indecision. Well, I can always mute it and drag it up to one of my extra tracks. Same channel. I've got a lot of takes there to look through later. So I'm going to have the punch okay. extend. So I note that I want you to play through that two beats extra. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the funner, hipper way to set up an auto punch range. All you have to do is interact with the waveform you're interested in replacing or punching over. In this case, I want a punch range that starts a little earlier and ends two beats later. Just make a marquee selection over the audio. Super easy. I can really see what I'm doing. I've made the start of my marquee selection right before that previous note and I go right up to the chord that I want to keep. Playhead goes earlier, press record, and Logic turns on auto punch and sets the range to match the marquee selection. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. And you're gonna, you know, play along and play into that two beats. Okay, like so that's the note. Play through that. A little session chatter here. Uh, yeah, like you did just before, but have- Just like working out the part. Through those extra two beats okay. instead of stop. It, gotcha. That leaves, I don't want two measures of silence. Gotcha. The bass note can, can ring through that. That was possible, but let's try another take of that. Julian can take it, he's a pro. But now we're gonna look at that handy replace button. If we turn it off, we can generate a take folder just within this precise area. Awesome. Leave the punch range exactly where it is. Just turn off replace and do another take. And there's your take folder. You can keep adding to it with more punch takes if you need them. Wow, something like that. Something along those. Well, we might need another take on that punch. Coming up, I've got one more topic about recording. Whether you want to record a multi-mic instrument or a whole band, there's a couple of things you'll need to know. Let's check it out.